Hi there, a pleasant day to everyone. I am Sir Sunny, and I am here to help you discover and learn new things in English 10. Before we start our lesson, please prepare your second week module in English 10, your paper and your pen, and let the learning begin! Are you note-taking every time you listen to lectures in class? Well, that's one good way for you to retain the lessons on your mind. But have you tried other ways of arranging ideas? Aside from writing it from left to right, from top to bottom? Well, don't you think that's plain and boring when you just write down notes in a traditional way? Note-taking can really be fun with textual aids that can help you understand concepts and information better. Come and join me as we determine the effects of textual aids like advanced organizers, titles, nonlinear illustrations, etc. in the understanding of a text. Arranging ideas in a systematic way will be easy if you are familiar with the different ways on how to organize them in accordance with their purpose, intent, and thoughts. Let me show you some of the examples of textual aids and their use. Cause and effect diagram emphasizes the connection between different concepts. This is called the most beneficial organizer since it could be applied to all subject areas. Flow diagram is a sequence chart that shows a series of events in their correct order. If you have a concept that has steps or has certain order or sequence, then it could be shown in this kind of textual aid organizer. Venn diagram is used to identify, classify, categorize, or recognize similarities and differences of two or more subjects, ideas, Thoughts are concepts. Graphic organizers are usual displays that have key contact information. These textual aids provide students with structure for abstract concepts and designed for those who have trouble organizing information and thoughts. These are meant to help students visualize ideas. While concept maps are general organizers or textual aids that show central ideas. They are helpful and excellent for brainstorming, reflecting on stock knowledge, and generating alternative expression. These kinds of maps show or rank hierarchical relationships are concepts. To further improve our understanding about textual aids, let us have an activity. Write true if the statement is correct false if incorrect. Number 1. The purpose of textual aid is to help students to comprehend a subject, story, or topic. What do you think is the answer? The correct answer is true. Number 2. Textual aids are sometimes written in bold to catch the attention of the reader. What do you think is the answer? The answer is true. Number 3. Graphic organizers are a visual way to encourage students to think about his or her own thoughts and ideas. What do you think is the answer? The answer is true. Number four. A sequence chart that shows a certain order refers to cause and effect organizer. What do you think is the answer? The answer is False. And last, number five, Venn diagram 
is primarily used by students for brainstorming. What do you think is the answer? The answer is false. Now, let us identify what is being referred to in each statement. Number one, these refer to graphs, charts, and diagrams which help to emphasize a subject or topic. What do you think is the answer? The answer is textual aids. Let's proceed with the next one. Number two, it shows the connections between different concepts. What do you think is the answer? It's cause and effect. Number three. This expresses a series or sequence of events. What do you think is the answer? The answer is... Flow diagram. Number 4. This is used to identify, classify, and recognize similarities and differences of two or more concepts. What do you think is the answer? Okay, the answer is Venn Diagram. And lastly, number 5. This assists students have trouble organizing information. What do you think is the answer? And the answer is graphic organizer. Congratulations for a job well done! Thank you for watching this video about textual aids and hope to see you again next time to discover and learn new things. Goodbye! Thank you.